Alright, today I'm gonna install an air horn into my uh, uh, Corolla. This my Corolla's horn is not really horny, and um, I just need to make it a little bit more horny. So I make myself hurt. This horn here I got from eBay for like, say seventeen, eighteen dollars, and I believe Harbor Freight also sell this kind of horn, and uh, it's pretty similar. It's an air horn that use a small compressor to blow through the two horns here, right? And so inside the box. You got the two horn, two, uh, let's see, we got user manual and the pump. Let's see, pump's got the positive and negative terminal. That's all about it. So it's basically just a pump, air pump, some T Y. Connector, connecting tube and some screws and a relay so I've just finished installing everything together here for the tube you know what this package here sent me a tube only about what 12 inches long and uh, there are three chips needed to connect the the Y connection here so I have to use my own tube I uh, have to go to a hardware store and get uh, uh, some more tube but uh, well that's what it is so um, the pump go out to the Y and then it go to the one end go to each horn and then um, the tube is very hard to uh, push in the uh, connector here so I just use a heat gun and heat it up heat up the tube and it's very easy to push in once it heat up and uh, it's very soft and I also wired everything together here and let me show you how I wired it together this diagram that comes with the package is not just useless it's also wrong so let me show you uh, the way it's uh, being wired together so the way it's being wired together is we got here we got the, the relay relay got, uh, it's got four pins 30, 85, 86 and 87 let's start with 30 okay pin 30 is here so pin 30 is to uh, go straight to the positive of the battery so you can see here and go straight to the battery right? and uh, pin 85 let's see pin 85 goes to the ground okay of the battery okay pin 86 is the switch Okay, so pin 86 and pin 30, you can basically um, uh, wire them together if you don't have a switch. But the point of using a relay is so that you can use a switch, a small switch, that's usually not capable of handling um, higher amperage. That's the point of using a relay. So uh, if you wire pin 30 and 86 together, there's no point. So you 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 know the way you use this is you use a small a small switch, like this one here, and so pin 86 is also positive. So you can basically again you can basically wire 86 and 30 together and two positive with the battery, and we will turn on everything, right? But because 86 is designed to to go through a switch, a small switch, so it 86. And then I got a switch here, and this switch 
it's a temporary switch so when I push it it turns on and when I release it it's off so it's normally off only when I push it then it turn on and I got it from a any circuit board I guess from a TV the front panel of the TV these are the volume control and all that craps but uh, I cut out so this is the I think it's uh, the power switch of the TV so it's right here basically you can use any of this switch they're all the same just different only one different color because I think it's a power switch but they're all the same on the bottom there are four pins right and only two pins are normally open meaning you don't press anything it will it will be off right so when you push this button push it in it will connect this this pin and that pin together and turn on the device right connect this pin and then these two wires are going to be connected together when you push this button but anyway you can use any switch I'm just cheap so I just use something that I can salvage for free but anyway let's connect this in here again so basically pin 86 again pin 86 of the relay go out to the switch right and then from the switch to positive of the battery okay and pin 87 is also positive but goes out to your device whatever you're powering in this case the pump right the horn and the horn itself has got power come from pin 87 right of the relay 87 go out to positive of the horn and the negative of the horn go out and go to ground of the battery and we got a complete circuit right so let me demonstrate let me put this on it's gonna be really loud and you should turn down your volume too because it's gonna be loud all right you ready three two one there you go try again three two one see that that's how we wire all everything together now I just need to connect everything here to my car and we are good to go all right so uh, I got a diagram here to uh, show you again how I wire everything together and uh, for the ground for the negative um, so there are two wires that go to the negative of the battery <coughs> the negative of the pump and the negative of the relay which is 85 pin 85 on the relay okay and um, you don't have to put to the negative end of the battery you, uh, for the car just put these two wires to the chassis of the car which is uh, ground which should be fine and uh, here's a diagram and uh, let me see if we see everything here okay so this is a relay in the middle right here and we got first we got pin 30 right? pin 30 go to positive for the battery right here yeah, to the positive for the battery pin 85 go to negative of the battery or to chassis of the car pin 86 go out and to a switch right here okay? temporary switch I accidentally draw this together but uh, this is a switch right here okay and then from here and go down to positive of the battery which is that okay that's pin 86 86 pin 87 which is positive that dirty. that uh, that goes to the uh, the uh, device in this case the pump yeah? so 87 go out to positive of the pump and um, that's pretty much it you get it closer so you can see it better the diagram okay and uh, that's all I have and uh, thank you for watching. Until next time.